Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm here to do the stay at home mom tag. My girl Monice um, tagged me in this and um, go check her out over at Mommy of Three Redheads and One Brunette. Uh, like I said, she tagged me in the stay at home mom tag. Um, if you're new to my channel and you don't know, I am a stay at home mom. I have three kids. Um, the oldest is 15 and then 13 and then 9. Yeah, 15, 13, 9. Yeah, y'all. You know, when you got a lot of kids, you kind of lose track. Um, but yeah, um, so three kids and I am a stay-at-home mom. Um, so I'm going to be looking over here because I have all the questions right here. Um, there are 19 questions. So yeah, thank you, Moniz, for tagging me. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this. Okay, guys, so I had to get comfortable, so I put y'all down. Um, so like I said, the um, stay-at-home mom slash homemaker tag. Okay, so first question. Um, have you ever had anyone say anything negative to you about being a stay-at-home mom or a working mom from home? Um, so the only thing that I've had people say is more like, um, must be nice and, uh, oh, you don't work, so what do you do? Like, what do you do at home? Do you not do nothing? Like, what do you do with yourself? Um, yeah, people are actually pretty brave to say that to you. Um, so yeah, that is the only thing that negative that people really say. Um, yeah, and I just give them funky looks and, you know, uh, it, it's annoying to hear people say stuff like that, but you know, because it's my business if I stay home, ain't none of your business. You ain't in my house. Um, so number two, uh, what is your favorite slash least favorite part of staying at home or working from home? Um, so my favorite thing about staying home is I'm here for everything. Um, I don't miss anything. Um, I can go on field trips and, you know, if my kids need me for something, I'm always there. Um, you know, um, helping out at the schools, um, you know, just everything. I'm just, I'm not missing anything and I love that. Um, what is your least favorite part of staying at home or working from home? Um, maybe that it kind of keeps me in my turtle shell because I'm, I'm very quiet. I stay to myself. Um, and I, I, I kind of like being that way, but I would say it's not, it's not my favorite because, um, you know, when I get around people, I'm still like that little secluded turtle kind of like in her shell. So yeah, uh, but favorite is I, I get to be there with the kids 24 seven because, um, if you guys don't know, my husband's in the military and he is not, he can't be around a lot, you know, so he misses a lot. So I don't miss the stuff and I'm thankful that I can be home to see everything. Um, number three, what is your favorite um, chore and your least favorite chore? Favorite chore would be cleaning the kitchen um, because I love a clean kitchen. Before I go to bed, I will not go to bed without cleaning the kitchen because if I come downstairs and the kitchen's dirty that will mess up my whole day so I love to clean the kitchen because I just love a clean kitchen I don't know because you know the kitchen is the place where everyone kind of meets up so the kitchen ain't clean mama ain't happy least favorite chore would be dusting I hate dusting y'all <sighs> okay number four what time do you wake up 5 30 5 30 my alarm's going off um, number five, what time do you go to bed? So I'm usually in bed by 9.30, but do I go to bed? No. I usually go to bed by, I don't know, 11 o'clock, sometimes 11.30, y'all, because I'm laying in bed playing bingo or uh, playing bingo on my phone or uh, watching YouTube videos. So yeah. Uh, number six, do you get dressed most days or stay in PJs? So my kind of dress every day is comfy clothes, like sweats, shirts, um, you know, wearing my husband's shirts. I went like this, like this was his. No, this ain't his. This is mine. Um, but, you know, putting his t-shirts on and just wearing sweats or, you know, like they call it those mommy workout pants. Yeah, y'all, I wear them a lot. Um, so yeah, that is my, um, dress up around the house, um. Yeah, I don't really dress up a lot. So, number seven, how often do you do your hair and makeup? 
not often because I'm always home. Um, so like right now I got a little bit of something on my face. Um, but other than that, I maybe will put powder on my face and that's about it. Um, my hair will usually be in a bun or in a hair clip. Um, yeah, that's about it. Nothing fancy over here. Number eight, what is your trouble zone or area in your home that needs the most help? My son's room. Um, I am constantly in his room because he, his clean and my clean are two different things. Like the whole house will be clean. But when you walk past his room, I'm like, ah, reverse. Uh, go back. I go in there and yeah. So I'm constantly like once he goes to school, I'm in there fixing it. And yeah, that's the trouble zone is his room. I don't know. Boys, you right? Or unless it's just my boy. Um, number nine, how often do you find yourself distracted? Um, I don't know. So I'm a, out of a 10, I would say maybe a five. So 50, 50 y'all. I don't know. I don't really get too distracted. Um, I'm kind of like on point, like when I have to do something. Um, but like Mo said, I don't know if that was the question she, she said it on, but she's a procrastinator. So if, it, if, if they put procrastination in distraction, then yeah, I mean, that would be me. But other than that, no, uh, not a lot. Okay, so number 10, do you enjoy staying home or do you miss going to a job every day? So I love, 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 love staying home. You know, I feel like it's a wonderful job uh, because it is a job. Um, you know, um, because like I said earlier, I get to do things with the kids. I'm, I'm always there. Like I get to go do all the things, you know, every activity at school, I get to be there and I love it. Um, I love being able to wake them up, make their breakfast, pack their lunch, kiss them by wave to them i love being able to pick them up well the big kids know they ride the bus home but the little one pick her up you know be home my kids are home see how their day went blah blah blah, blah. all that y'all do i miss going to a job every day um no not really because i worked back in the day like when my two older ones were um little and y'all when i would leave every day and go to work and they would like cry and stuff that stuff broke my heart and I used to like count down the hours until I got home because I just missed being at home with them so no I don't really miss it um, going to a job every day number 11 what is your never-ending chore laundry laundry matter of fact my dryer is going right now with a big family um, we're a family of five um, there is laundry like all every day y'all I do laundry just about every day just to stay on top of laundry just to make sure everything's uh, washed y'all about to go left right now I'm about to go left because I'd be talking so fast uh, but yeah laundry y'all uh, what is your favorite way to relax or have me time that's number 12 um, my favorite way to relax is I kind of like to sit out on my porch uh, backyard porch and just listen to like the helicopters listen to the birds fly around just listen to nature just be quiet um, like I said I am a quiet person so I don't know, just, I don't know, just think, meditate, whatever, yeah, it's that, it's boring, but I like it, um, every now and then I'll watch a movie, so yeah, number 13, how often does your husband or a significant other chips in, as often as he can, um, he's really busy, so I don't never put no, um, hassle on him to do things, um, you know, to help me, but, you know, he will definitely, like, wash the dishes, clean the kitchen, help me you know um he'll just step in and do it you know so which is really nice um and he'll also sometimes take leave like vacation um to help me at home so like he'll take a week or something and be like this is your week where you relax and this and let me do all your mommy duties and worry about the kids while you just do what you want to do sleep take a nap whatever so that's really nice too. Number 14, if you have kids, when do you find time to do chores? Once they all get out the house and go to school, that is my time to do all my chores. Number 15, how do you balance being a homemaker and creating YouTube content? Mo, I'm with you, girl. We struggle. I'm struggling, okay? Um, 
you know, life just takes over and with kids and stuff and their schedules, I, I, I don't know. I don't really think about YouTube content. Um, I mean, I will come on here. Basically what y'all will see is a grocery haul um, because that's like boom, right on the spot. And so, you know, I can do that, you know, no problem. But, you know, content for a lot of stuff, y'all, I suck. Okay. So number 16, what is your favorite room in your home and why? The kitchen, because like I said, I don't know why. I just, you know, when the kitchen is clean, I like to sit in there. Just, I don't know. I'm weird like that. And also, um, my bedroom, because once I get into my bed and relax, like that is my comfort zone. Um, so yeah. Um, number 17, do you feel your home reflects your personal style? Um, yeah, relaxed, just like me. Um, so yeah, uh, you come in here, you're going to be relaxed. Um, okay. Number 18, what does your home smell like? Fabuloso, Lysol, and, um, oh, candles. Yeah, so that's what my home will smell like, those three things. Um, and when my husband walks in the door, he's like, I know you've been mopping because I smell Fabuloso. Um, okay, number 19, what is your strongest point and weak spot when it comes to homemaking and staying at home or being a stay-at-home mom? So my strongest point is that I can, like, I'm good at staying on top of everything in the house. Um, so it's like, you know, I do like boom, boom, boom. Like I, I just know what has to get done. And, um, you know, like if, when my husband takes over, he's confused when he tries to stay home and help. So my strongest point is just me being on top of it all and knowing everything, like the schedule, what needs to be done. My weak spot, um, is control of uh, control of like letting my kids help around the house because I'm like one of those people that go behind them like I want I don't let them wash dishes um they, now they can they had before but I don't you will never you really hear me tell them go wash dishes because I'm like that parent that goes behind them and re-washes just because it's like my OCD thing um my control factor thing um so yeah, my weak spot is, you know, getting help or, you know, with the kids doing their chores. They only have a few chores, you guys, because I'm so nervous to give them bigger chores because I'm like, I will be behind them doing it and it really doesn't make sense for them to do it if I'm going to go behind them. So yeah, that's my weak spot. Um, so that's all the questions, y'all, 19 questions. I, try, I went through it so fast because I don't want this video to be long. It's already like, I don't know, close to 13 minutes or something like that. So yeah, I think that's long enough. Um, but thank you, Mo, for tagging me um, in the homemaker or stay-at-home mom tag. Um, so I know you already tagged Kim, so I'm not going to tag you, Kim, because I know you got tagged in it. Um, but I'm going to tag Sandra from Sandra's Halls. Um, I love her too, So, uh, and I want to hear your answer, Sandra, because I think you are a stay-at-home mom. I believe you are but um yeah so that is a tag i'm just gonna make sure i got all the questions because i went so fast um yeah so anyways it's friday for us um it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon so yeah we made it to friday y'all maybe i have me a glass of wine tonight and just chill all right guys thank you for watching and i'll holler at you guys later bye